Paul. My name is Brian Perez, and I'm going to do my presentation about patenting of human genetics. And in case you guys don't know what the definition of patenting is, it's when you file an application and you submit it to uh, the Office of Patenting or Pat Patents in the United States. And that invention that you stated that is yours, it becomes yours, and you can use it any way you want. Uh, human genes, uh, when I talk about human genes, I talk about actually changing the structure of a cell, maybe affecting the DNA of the cell, or the, the DNA of the cell itself. So, I mean, uh, there's a lot of discussions about that, I won't go too much into detail because there's a lot of scientific explanations about it. But uh, just to know that when I talk about genes, I'm talking about like um, maybe synthetic or uh, natural genes that have been modified. How, like, how, what would it feel, or how would you like to know, I mean, how much relief would there be if it was announced that there were new ways to fight diseases like cancer, or diseases that affect us, but there are no real cure? I mean, can you imagine the, 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 the side relief that everybody in the whole world could like, just like, you know, experience? I mean, it would be amazing, but unfortunately, that's not it. The thing is that in 2010, the four leading ca causes of death uh, were the following, which are heart diseases, cerebral vasculars diseases, which um, affect strokes, or uh, problems with like you know your nervous system or your, um, your brain, or respiratory diseases, and above all cancer. Uh, scientists have been working on, on different genes and actually working on modifying genes to maybe present a cure for these. Diseases. Um, now, the way they work on these genes is they use stem cells. So, the stem cells are are these cells that are found in embryos that are found in three to five day old embryo. Um, so, that are found when you know when a woman when a woman is pregnant. Uh, these cells have the ability to reconstruct themselves into any cell type that is needed. This means that it's a cell that could actually be turned into a different type of cell that the body needs in order to be healthy. But also stem cells can also be found in the very location to, but in the hu adult human body, which is a fully developed human body that is no longer, you know, developing. It's, it's already adult. It's made, like, you're just gonna use that body for the rest of your life, you know what I mean? Okay, so, um, stem cells, these are stem, stem cells, begin with the first one, and then they um, duplicate into other stem cells, such as, Red blood cells, um, white blood cells, and into other different many other types of cells, like muscle. Um, these cells are actually uh, very important because they are a promising way to regenerate cells. I mean, there's even a possibility of being immortal because these cells can regenerate and replace old cells that are dying within, <coughs> within your body. Okay. Well, what's the problem? Why, why, why isn't there have been a cure? Well, the problem is that patents have been submitted since the 1980s by scientists, and until last year, there have been cases where these patents are have been tried against to be invalid, and scientists are pretty much losing their right over losing their um, invention of these certain genes that they have been working on. For example, in um, in uh, the case of association of pathology, of molecular pathology versus the case of uh, I mean versus the company of our genetics and laboratories, uh, the association organization of, um, was saying that Myrid Genetics did not have the right to own a patent to actually uh, own a gene that could possibly. Um, stop or lower the risk of developing breast cancer. As we all know that breast cancer can affect women and men and you know, lead to death. Um, in the end, the case uh, resulted into myogenetics winning uh, because their gene that they had made is synthetic, not natural. And you cannot file a patent if something is naturally occurring um, as we are today. As I cannot patent a tree because the tree and I cannot own the tree just because I say so. Okay. So, um, many people believe that these uh, 
patents will actually slow down the work of all these scientists and, and that there will be many problems that other scientists will not be able to work on these type of cures, on these type of cells, um, allowing us to actually further study a scientific uh, medication or uh, development to cure these diseases. Um, the thing is that Mario Genetics actually submitted uh, evidence suggesting that many works um, and reports um, regarding the fact that scientists have actually worked on these um, genes that were patented and they were not you know, being held back due to these patents, they were actually contributing more. So what I'm trying to say in summary is that these patents actually contribute uh, or help scientists actually work more, create more, maybe even research more to these cures for these diseases. Um, well, Aside from that, why why do these companies need to patent these uh, these uh, you know genes or modified uh, cells? Well, the thing is, that's how you're gonna distribute the like what they made. You know, you can't you can't just give it out. You need to have some way of getting it out there. Not even that, they need to have the recognition, the fact that they made these uh, um, genes and cells. But the thing is that people don't want to. They think that it'll slow down the work of other scientists. However, that, that's not the case. There are no negative um, consequences and because they, they're synthetic and they make these genes. So the solution, the solution is to keep making these synthetic genes and be able to stop cancer. Now, cancer, um, cancer attacks the body at a cellular level. Uh, cells become abnormal and start to duplicate rapidly. Um, that's how you, when they duplicate rapidly and they accumulate, they develop a tumor. And normal cells, cancer cells, known as cancer cells, spread throughout the whole body. So that's how you um, get cancer spread through your body, you get tumors, in your, you have tumors anywhere throughout your body. Um, so, so these are cancer cells. Cancer cells. These are normal cells. The ones in the middle are cancer cells. They look abnormal. They uh, invade local tissue and they spread by going through different channels throughout your body such as lymph channels or different blood vessels. And the way that these new genes or human or stem cells can help us like fight cancer is by seeing <coughs> these stem cells and making the new antibodies that actually detect abnormal cells. Maybe uh, the stem cells can be modified in, and programmed into fighting these cancer cells and uh, lowering the risk of cancer and maybe even later on um, genetics and then the baby can be modified into lowering the risk of not fighting cancer. Well, uh, that's the solution. Um, this is why I, my thesis was to actually persuade you guys into um, allowing genes to be trademarked and patented so that these solutions can be made at a faster pace and that we could all fight diseases such as cancer, which as of right now we have no way.